was an ancient king. He was a peaceful man, and did not like war. He had a wonderful drum, the property of which, when it was beaten, was always to provide plenty of good food and drink. So whenever any country declared war against him, he used to call all his enemies together and beat his drum. Instead of fighting, the people found tables spread with all sorts of dishes for everybody. In this way he kept all the country quiet, and sent his enemies away with full stomachs. There was only one drawback to possessing the drum, and that was, if the owner of the drum walked over any stick on the road or stepped over a fallen tree, all the food would immediately go bad, and evil men would appear with whips and beat the owner of the drum and all the invited guests. Duke was a rich man. He had many farms and hundreds of slaves. He also had fifty wives and many children. The wives were all beautiful women and good mothers, which was good for the king's house. Every few months the king used to issue invitations to all his subjects to come to a big feast, even the wild animals were invited. Animals in those days were friendly with men and when they were at the feast they did not kill one another. All the people and the animals as well were envious of the king's drum and wanted to possess it, but the king would not part with it. One morning, one of the king's wives, took her little daughter down to the spring to wash her, as she was covered with bad sores all over the body. The tortoise happened to be up a palm tree, just over the spring, cutting nuts for his midday meal, and while he was cutting, one of the nuts fell to the ground, just in front of the child. The little girl, seeing the good food, cried for it, and the mother picked up the palm nut and gave it to her daughter. Directly the tortoise saw this he climbed down from the tree, and asked the woman where his palm nut was. She replied that she had given it to her child to eat. Then the tortoise, who very much wanted the king's drum, thought he would cause a scene over this and force the king to give him the drum, so he said to the mother of the child. I am a poor man, and I climbed the tree to get food for myself and my family. Then you took my palm nut and gave it to your child. I shall tell the whole matter to the king, and see what he has to say when he hears that one of his wives has stolen my food. For this, as everyone knows, is a very serious crime according to native custom. The king's wife then said to the tortoise, I saw your palm nut lying on the ground, and thinking it had fallen from the tree, I gave it to my little girl to eat, but I did not steal it. My husband the king is a rich man, and if you have any complaint to make against me or my child, I will take you before him. So when she had finished washing her daughter at the spring she took the tortoise to her husband, and told him what had taken place. The king then asked the tortoise what he would accept as compensation for the loss of his palm knot, and offered him money and food, all of which things the tortoise refused one after the other. The king then said to the tortoise, what will you take? You may have anything you like. And the tortoise immediately pointed to the king's drum, and said that it was the only thing he wanted. In order to get rid of the tortoise the king said, very well, take the drum. But he never told the tortoise about the bad things that would happen to him if he stepped over a fallen tree, or walked over a stick on the road. The tortoise was very glad at this, and carried the drum home in triumph to his wife, and said, I am now a rich man, and shall do no more work. Whenever I want food, all I have to do is to beat this drum, and food will immediately be brought to me, and plenty to drink. His wife and children were very pleased when they heard this, and asked the tortoise to get food at once, as they were all hungry. This made tortoise to be pleased, as he only wished to show off his newly acquired wealth, and was also rather hungry himself, so he beat the drum in the same way as he had seen the king do when he wanted something to eat, and immediately plenty of food appeared, so they all sat down and made a great feast. The tortoise did this for three days, and everything went well, all his children got fat, and had as much as they could possibly eat. He was therefore very proud of his drum, and in order to display his riches he sent invitations to the king and all the people and animals to come to a feast. When the people received their invitations they laughed, 
as they knew the tortoise was very poor, so very few attended the feast. But the king, knowing about the drum, came, and when the tortoise beat the drum, the food was brought as usual in great profusion, and all the people sat down and enjoyed their meal very much. They were much astonished that the poor tortoise should be able to entertain so many people, and told all their friends what fine dishes had been placed before them, and that they had never had a better dinner. The people who had not gone were very sorry when they heard this, as a good feast, at somebody else's expense, is not provided every day. After the feast all the people looked upon the tortoise as one of the richest men in the kingdom, and he was very much respected in consequence. No one, except the king, could understand how the poor tortoise could suddenly entertain so lavishly, but they all made up their minds that if the tortoise ever gave another feast, they would not refuse again.